Hey everybody, Rez the Collector here with another Superman related review. Today we are looking at the... God, I don't even really know the, the best word. I mean, it, almost, it requires like a fancy word. Exquisite. The Exquisite Superman and Lois Lane uh, based on the art of Gary Frank and sculpted by the amazing Tim Bruckner. Uh, I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, your old pal Res the Collector had a mini heart attack when I opened the outer box and saw the damage to this box. There's more here on the side. Yeah, little mini coronary right there. Was no bueno. So uh, when I opened it up and saw that everything inside was okay, whew, but uh, yeah, that was definitely a, just a, a heart attack inducing moment. So as you can see here, we've got a close up of the statue. Of course we have Superman and the love of his life, Lois Lane. Uh, of course they have played with that uh, relationship over the years. New 52 had him with Wonder Woman. Uh, it, but in the end, it all comes back to Clark and Lois. So this is the perfect statue representing this. It has, in my opinion, one of the best artists to pull uh, work from, Gary Frank. Uh, probably because he did a more Christopher Reeve looking Superman and that's, you know, my, that's my Superman. But uh, just like the, the perfect, it, it's like the perfect little, it tells you everything. There's the little smile on his face, you know, the, the dimple kicking in on her. You see that she's scared for just a moment, but looking at him, you can see that in her eyes that she's starting to trust him. It's just, it's, I mean, the box art alone is, is beautiful. I can't even go, I mean, looking at the box art here. Uh, so let's take a look at the statue. As you can see here, DC Collectibles, Superman and Lois Lane, DC Designer Series, based on the art of Gary Frank. Uh, on the side, we've got the view of Lois. I hope that's coming through. Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Oh, uh, whoa. Let's get that back. You can see my uh, amazing, uh, uh, you know, review space here. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want you guys to see behind the magic. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know. <sighs> Okay, back to the statue. Uh, as you can see here, we've got uh, Superman's basically perspective looking at Lois. And again, you can see those eyes meeting. Um, so great view from there. Uh, on the back, we've got uh, some things I didn't know were coming out because I never looked at the back of the box. But apparently there's going to be a Flash and a Stargirl or a... Not Star. Yeah, Starfire. There we go. Her name's right in the box. Uh, on the other side, we have a wonderful view. Oh, behind the magic there. Uh, wonderful view of the statue in its full glory. Uh, I mean, as, as wonderful as the figures they are, as, as they are, the base itself is just friggin' amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the statue uh, itself. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab that real quick. So as you can see, the Daily Planet uh, logo, this is a very, very heavy base. Uh, you can see the Daily Planet logo and how awesome it just, uh, it goes into the, the Couple scratches there apparently uh, goes down into the black portion of the base you've got the big part of the or half the globe here uh, on the bottom you can see that mine is number 782 of 3000 hopefully you can see that and that was you know somewhat in focus or in the shot okay now I do suggest if you ever if you have the statue and you ever feel the need to move it, uh, that you do make sure you break it down into two pieces before doing so, which is quite simple. All you have to do is lift it out of the base and it should slide right out. Just 
scares me how little this goes in, you know? There we go. All right, I don't have any kind of fancy uh, spinning thing that can take the weight of this, so you guys are just going to have to rely on me. Let's get a nice view of it, though, and talk about it. So we took a look at the base, and uh, that is just an amazing representation of the Daily Planet. Uh, I just, I, yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. It's just, it's very, very, very cool. So Superman and Lois Lane, you can see I love that smile. Uh, I love that smile on Soup's face. That uh, is just complete confidence and just knowing what he's doing. I also like that this isn't, you know, because it's based on uh, basically looking like Christopher Reeve. Uh, I love that he's not overly muscular. Um, both Gary Frank's art and uh, Tim Bruckner's skills as a sculptor bringing that out just amazingly. They, you show that he's a fit, you know, dude, but he's not over, he's not like, not like the Ed McGinnis who looks like, you know, you could put like, a grate between his abs and he could just squish it out at if you do juice and okay that was weird sorry I don't know where that came from all right so we're taking a look here as you can see very very detailed Lois has some nice legs uh, she's wearing sandals apparently she's matching pretty good she's got some brown skirt and uh, you can see a green undershirt under her blouse. I don't know why I'm going into detail. It's a good match, all right? Uh, but really, I mean, the, the true showcase to me is uh, not only the Daily Planet, but the cape. Look how amazingly the cape... Well, you can see my... Oh, again, behind the magic, man. Behind the magic. It's like a free show. It's like behind the scenes and a review. Look at that. Uh... The cape is so well done. You can see the rippling in it. It's just, I, I love every part of the cape. Except for one thing. Uh, it does not have the yellow S on the back. And I could be wrong, but I do believe that uh, Gary Frank's artwork, I mean, this might be a one lone panel where uh, he didn't, or you just didn't see it from behind, but Gary Frank's artwork generally has the yellow S. Now, I don't know, this was probably something that came down to, like, art director, because I can't see Mr. Bruckner leaving it off on purpose, so I think it had to come down to an AD, and I don't know why they made that choice, but uh, it was wrong, because it requires the yellow S on the back. This is the Reeve Superman, Reeve has the yellow S, uh, it's a classic Superman, classic Superman has yellow S, so... Give me my damn ass, man. Stop leaving it off. All right, rant over. Uh, so again, you can see how beautiful this is. Uh, both Lois from head to toe and soups. I mean, look at the look at the work on the boots. Well, you probably can't see that, so I should probably zoom in. So let me do that. I'm talking about all this cool stuff that you can't see. You're just like I'm looking at it in the thing, man. You're not doing nothing for me. All right. Sorry, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, so I'm a little bit goofy. Whoa, whoa, what's the... Sorry. All right, I should probably edit this, but I won't because I'm lazy and I don't have time. All right, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it's coming through. Let me grab uh, my behind-the-scenes light. Yeah, look at the, uh, the rippling in the boot. And you can see, you know, lining in the costume. It's just... And Lois's hair. God. I do a little bit of sculpting work myself. Woo, that's better. And, uh... Hair is just... Crappy to do. And he pulled it off brilliantly here. You can see that big, beautiful S shield. Uh, I love the colors of this statue. It's just... Everything on this thing pops. Every single thing on this statue pops. Um, it just, it really doesn't get much better than this. I mean, look at the, the fingernails. Can you see that? Probably not. The light's probably too bright. There you go. Uh, one thing I do have, uh, what appears to be a bit of missing paint here. 
And then I, I don't think they did too well with the gloss on my Lois, because um, if you look at it from the top, she's got like one shiny uh, strand on top. Hey, Star Wars. Those are my minions. They're, uh, you know, my uh, directors of photography and grips and whatnot. All right, let's go ahead and give this bad boy 360, because I'm sure you guys are like, wow, Tony went insane. And that's what being a parent is. It's insanity with bouts of, like, crying. Both you and the kids. All right. Let's just hope I can do this a little bit smoothly. Sorry, guys. Creek, creek goes the whatnots. All right, so let's take a look at a nice three sixty here. There's no angle on this statue. I mean, you could display this statue like this and it would still be a beautiful display piece. And that cape though, that cape is just flat out, I mean, that's awe-inspiring to, to get that look of wind rippling through it like that. All right, so here's where the only spot on this statue that really, that I, I just bugs me is that we're missing this yellow S here. Uh, but that is the only complaint I have at all. Wow, that was dark. Sorry about that. It's just such a beautiful piece. It is extremely heavy. And I believe they're currently retailing... I uh, didn't even get them for about 200 bucks, but I would recommend picking it up soon because again, there's only 3,000 pieces here. So you got to account for breakage, you got to account for uh, factory defects. These things are going to get rare. So it's a piece that if you don't have it, it's time to pick it up because it is one of the show pieces in a collection. And I will go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in my case, and then I'm going to show you where this bad boy goes in my, in my uh, case, because it's just right out front and beautiful. I'm trying not to pause my videos because uh, I've been having issues with uploading. So, uh, intermission, I guess, while I do this. Uh, Superman fact, uh, his parents are from Krypton. Um, Ace the Super Monkey, no, not Ace. Bapo, Bapo the, his name was Bapo. Beppo, Beppo, Beppo the Super Monkey was a thing. He existed. Yeah. Uh, most challenging Superman villain, in my opinion. Not Lex Luthor, but good old Mixilus Pitalik. Again, my opinion. So let's get another view of the statue as it goes by to go back in the case. Yay. Uh, Superman and uh, Supergirl. Love the costume. Love that it has the classic S. Got, uh, of course, the yellow S on the back, I think. No, maybe it doesn't. But it does have the classic S in the front. Just wish it looked a little cleaner. I don't know why they felt the need to, to dirty it up. But let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy in the case. It has woo, a place of honor. Right here on my most favorite of shelves up front with the light shining on it it's just good good stuff all right guys this was res the collector 
I want to thank you for watching. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. There you go. Uh, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.